Bienvenue, and Vitaillement. Today, we'll look at the excellent tradition of Ukrainian cookery. The oven is set to a safe and effective temperature for the leavened paska and babka breads. As you may have guessed, unleavened breads are not welcome in my kitchen. Now, many of you are asking, um, how much yeast and what are the exact um, proportions for flour and water? And it is a science, but the science is settled. And this is the reference. I even have a second copy for my summer home. And in it, it suggests a generous glaze of egg whites and butter. I know many of you, uh, especially Ukrainian Canadians, uh, young ones especially, would be advocating for vegan options and gluten-free substitutes. But this is not what Ukrainians are about. We can do this and build back the meat and dairy tradition that has always been there for the Cossacks uh, to keep them healthy and vibrant in their cherished communities. In fact, one of my favorite dishes is Moskom with cabbage rolls. And regarding the latter, I am now mandating that the cabbage be kept secure around the unified rice, which would otherwise crumble into chaos, necessitating uh, an emergency act, or at least a smoke detector. Next week, we'll look at a delicious Bukovenian nachinka recipe that a friend gave me while I traveled to Chernivtsi last month. Diakuyu and Dopobachinyah.